So hey everyone, I'm Sai from Composio. Uh, let's build a Google Calendar agent using Composio. I'll be guiding you through the code and explaining you uh, each steps. So if you're building anything closely related to Google Calendars, trying to integrate it with uh, Composio and uh, agents, I think this guide should uh, sort of help you out, uh, should be taken as a reference. So um, before I like explain you the code, let's uh, understand what we are trying to build. So basically, uh, as you can see here, I have some roughly written to do's here, some basic random uh, stuff. And uh, what I want is my agent to add this to my Google Calendar as events. So if this is there, this should be added uh, with that particular time slot, all of that completely automated. I just, uh, you'll see in the video as well, I'll just run one command. Uh, I'll just run this uh, particular uh, code, the script, and uh, everything will be added automatically. That's how it works. So yeah, uh, before I do that, uh, before we start with the code, let's uh, log into our Composio using the SDK, Composio login. Now, since I've already logged in, I have this thing showing up. Now let's add a tool uh, basically. So like Composio add Google Calendar. So basically we are uh, authenticating Google Calendar with our Composio and integrating them. So calendar. Yeah, uh, you complete the flow and you'll successfully add uh, it. Yeah, so I've successfully authenticated. And this should be done. So yeah, Google Calendar, this tool has been added to our uh, application. Now, um, let's go back to the code. So basically the start will have all these import statements. The code is uh, available to everybody. It's, it's on our GitHub repo, so you can use it. After that, uh, this particular section is where uh, we are uh, initializing our LLMs and then our uh, true AI agent. So this here, uh, we are trying to uh, add Google Calendar as our tool. Um, after that, we'll be uh, basically taking out our time and date, uh, the present time and date. We have defined our to-dos here. Now, this is where, this is the main function. This is the only code which uh, we need to write. It's as simple as that. And uh, we just need to run this basically and we'll have everything set. So in this code, um, if you see uh, the Google Calendar agent, it has a goal that is to create, you know, uh, create and um, uh, perform an action on Google Calendars using the API. Here's a backstory which basically tells it what to do. And then uh, tools. So this basically is this so it's the same thing. Tools and then LLM, which is that. This is the thing. Um, now, if you look at the task, it says, uh, this is again, you can change it to your own uh, use case. Here we have, uh, so it says book a slot according to to-dos, create labels and uh, add event with the current date and current time zone. Uh, so yeah, the agent is Google Calendar agent. Everything is done. Uh, the expected output should be if a free time slot is found. If it is found, then our execution is successful. We'll uh, add it to our Google Calendar. Task dot run. Now let me let let me just run this, and we'll see what happens. Um, item three. This running basic uh, warning. So yeah, so our crew agent chain has started. We'll give it a time. I also have the calendar application open here. So they will decide on their own and the agents will basically add it. Yeah, so it is executed. Execution is true, as you can see. So. So yeah, all of the to-dos have been added uh, here as events in Google Calendar. And the date is current, today is May 31st. So, yep. So that is how our uh, application works. This is a very simple uh, example. And I think pretty much, yeah, the code is available. Uh, you can uh, use it if you want. And yeah, thank you.